Guys, I'm just going to start recording here because I'm doing something that I think people will find interesting. And also, it's just a great use case of how I like to use AI. So I'm using Claude code here. Basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get an easy method for me to take a screenshot and then copy it to path straight into Claude code. So I just I was just chatting with ChatGPT here just to understand how I could do this. And then I just basically fed this to um, Claude code. And now Claude code is doing everything for me. Like, I don't have to worry about any of it. Like some of these things are actually more complicated than they might seem like the way to download um, ShareX, for example. Okay, so it, it got me the wrong version because obviously I was on WSL, so it got the Linux version, but I'm on WSL, so I need the Windows version. So you do need to like be wary of things like this. So So this just opened up the installer here. Again, like you might be like, oh, fuck you, you now you're installing windows apps with ai but it actually does make things a lot easier like it, if a lot of these things they're powered by devs obviously like devs have made them and they're often not totally friendly to set up okay so i'm just following the instructions here configure hotkey i'll just show you guys this just in case people want to uh do this for themselves i'm guessing it's this click add Set task. Capture region. Set hotkey, control shift S. Press OK. There is no OK. OK, that's saved. Set after capture test. Go to task settings. After capture tasks. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's this one here. Let's just send that to, to Claude and see what it thinks. I can't, the, the ironic thing about this is I can't, well, I can take a screenshot, but I, I, this is the whole reason I want this, is so I can take a screenshot of something like this and send it to Claude code. Oh, okay, so I mean, these are the options. I've got an improvement at least. So now when I take a screenshot, oh, what? Okay, so if I do Control shift s it uploads it to Imgur. So at least I have a way temporarily to feed things to Claude Code. All right, it's here. It's in the it's in the hotkey settings, pressing this button here. Override after capture. After capture, copy image to clipboard. Copy image. Where's path? Copy file path to clipboard. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, let's try that. So, Control Shift S, take a screenshot, and then okay. I mean, that wasn't right. Is that right? Yeah, but I don't want the path. I don't want the URL. Oh, okay, so I can get rid of them by clicking them. So save. Copy image to clipboard, same image to file, copy file, path to clipboard, okay. There we go. So control shift S, screenshot, shouldn't upload it. And I should just be able to say, is the image. Beautiful. And then I should be able to hit enter. Let's see if it can process that. File does not exist. It does do this sometimes. Because it's WSL, there we go, ready at that time. Perfect. So this hopefully will say this is... Okay. It works, there's just something wrong with Claude Code right now where it thinks that every image is correct. I'm not sure what's going on there, but... Yeah, I mean, that worked. So if I go here, this should be that screenshot I just took. Perfect. So let's just see if I can fix the problem that I was just trying to fix. Basically, I'm working on SEO Grove right now, just trying to make it look uh, stellar. Um, and... There are a few problems, so we take a screenshot. There we go. Please, bro, look at this. This isn't right. Fix it. All right, let's see. So to summarize, what you need to do is you need to create a new um, 
hotkey on share apps. Try again, it's there, I promise. And then once you've done that, you need to set um, the task here so that it copies the, the path to your clipboard, and then you can paste it in easily. Let's see if it actually can understand this image because I'm not sure how good Claude code actually is. So the reason why I was following it, but the chart is still showing very high spikes, indicating the chart data is still not properly beautiful. Okay, and I have just transferred, transformed my workflow. This probably won't be like needed for very long, right? But it was just getting to the point where I just I needed a fix for this. And when I make a fix for something, I may as well let you guys know as well. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. Check out the school community for more tips and tricks like this one. And if you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend and peace out.